Hello everyone. I hope you all are doing good and staying safe. My name is Payal and I will be your instructor for the AWS series. I thought to just begin with my introduction first so that you guys could know me well. I started my career with AWS as a cloud support associate in networking team. I got the opportunity to work on various services such as VPN, Direct Connect, VPC peering and many more. I had the opportunity to work with many AWS customers and help them resolve their query and also provide architecture level guidance based on their use cases. After that, in 2020, I moved to Couchbase as a first cloud support engineer. Couchbase Cloud is the database as a service platform, which is built on top of the AWS and many other service providers. So I got the hands-on experience on various cloud providers such as GCP and Azure. Then last year, I got selected in AWS Community Builder Program as well. In that cohort, only 26% candidates from all over the world were selected. And it is an elite club of AWS enthusiasts. And if you are not aware of Community Builder Program, then don't worry. I'm about to share more information on that. So AWS Community Builder Program is the initiative started by AWS itself. It offers great technical resources, mentorship from the SMEs, that is subject matter experts, and even networking opportunity to the great leaders. This program has limited number of seats, which means that out of thousands of applications from all over the world, only few of them will get selected. This program provides various benefits. For example, you will get various promotional credits to build some small projects on AWS, or you can network with people and find job opportunities. You can directly interact with the AWS team and provide feedback on various services. And trust me, the AWS team which works behind this program is so active and passionate to run this program that you will feel that it is an absolute pleasure to be part of this program. So I would highly encourage that if you're 18 plus and like to learn more about AWS and, share and passionate about sharing your knowledge with others and help others to learn about AWS more, then you should definitely apply for this program. The applications are currently open and I'm going to share the application form link in the description below so do check it out and do apply for this program. I would also like to inform you about Newton School which is a platform to learn and develop skills like full stack development and many more. They will help you to prepare your dream company without paying any upfront fees which means you do not have to pay for a course until you receive a job offer from the company within one year. Isn't it great? They will help you to build and structure your tech career for the dream companies that you wish for from all over the world because they have partnered with more than 700 plus companies. They will work hard with you till you get one of yours. The students are already working in big tech companies like Google, Zomato, Nika, and many more. So I would highly recommend you to check out their website and try their services for free. I will add all the necessary links in the description below. Now let's begin with the series and in this video I will help you with the overview of AWS and why it is important to learn AWS and what are the opportunities for you if you have the AWS skills in your resume. So let's get started. So let's start with the first question that is what is AWS? So AWS is the world's most comprehensive and broadly adopted cloud platform offering over 200 fully featured services from data centers globally. Millions of customers, including the fastest growing startups, largest enterprises, and leading government agencies are using AWS to lower their cost, become more agile, and innovate faster. So as you can see, AWS is the most and widely used cloud platform, which is growing more and more day by day. Now in this definition, we need to understand few things. For example, what is a cloud platform? Or what is a cloud computing? So cloud computing is nothing but the virtualization of IT resources, for example, compute, servers, database, or networking devices, all those things will be virtualized in cloud computing. Now, what is a cloud platform? Cloud platform will be the 
cloud service provider such as AWS or GCP or Azure, which is provided by Microsoft. So all those cloud service providers, which provides you the cloud computing services, that is storage, compute, servers, network, networking devices in the virtualized form are known as the cloud service providers or the cloud platforms on which you can create those cloud services. Now in this definition, as you can see that AWS offers 200, over 200 fully featured services, which is a huge number, millions of customers, you know, biggest, largest customers such as Netflix or Disney and many other largest customers uses AWS. So AWS has a huge market base and user base. Now, there are many other cloud platforms such as GCP, Azure, Oracle, and many more, but no one is as broadly used as AWS. So it is obvious that AWS has the largest market base in the IT industry, and it has millions of customers, including leading government agencies or, uh, you know, startups or largest enterprises such as Netflix, Twitter, LinkedIn, and many more. Using AWS, these organizations decrease their cost of infrastructure and uh, foster their innovation and become more agile. Now, how they decrease is because currently, if you see that IT industry is going from traditional way of infrastructure deployment towards the cloud computing. Now, we need to understand how this cloud computing model is lowering the cost it is because cloud model is based on the pay as you go pricing, which means that user or the customer will only have to pay that that much amount which they are consuming. They do not have to care about the deployment or how these services are being deployed, who is going to maintain these servers, or they don't have to think about train their uh, staffs to maintain those servers or uh, storage devices or uh, how to manage them or where to put those servers or, or buy the infrastructure and data centers, right? So they don't have to care about anything. They will just go to a cloud platform such as AWS or GCP or Azure. They will go to them and they will buy their resources for some time for which they want to use it. Once their work is done, they can just delete those resources simply uh, by one click on the UI or they can uh, give them back to AWS or the service provider and just get rid of it. Now, as you can see, it will obviously decrease their cost uh, in terms of overall uh, infrastructure management. So this is how the cloud computing helps customers to innovate faster. And now they can focus their energy, time and money on the innovation on the development side and then build their uh, organizations and their product in a much faster way. Now let's understand why we should learn AWS. As we saw in the previous slide that AWS has over 200 fully featured services, which is a huge number, as you can see. There are many other cloud platforms in the market. However, no one offers this much number of services as well as no one has that big of user base which AWS has. Wherever cloud computing or the cloud terms comes in, AWS will always be there because AWS provides you the best user experience and the best cloud services. As I mentioned that Currently, IT industry is moving from the traditional uh, infrastructure towards the cloud computing. And cloud computing means that you need to under you need to learn AWS so you can understand the huge demand of AWS skills in the IT industry. So if you will have the AWS skills in your resume, then you should definitely going to get a great career in IT and build your own websites or uh, you know, products on AWS services itself. So I would highly recommend you to learn AWS and get hands-on experience on those services because there are various career opportunities for you lined up there. I will try my best to help you all get started with AWS and I hope you'll find this course useful. 
Now let's talk about how the series is going to help you. So my goal for this series is to help you all get started with AWS without any prior knowledge of cloud computing. I will try to explain each and every concept in a beginner friendly way so that anyone can just watch and learn it. Next, I will use AWS documentation as the reliable source because as you all know that the goal of this channel is to share knowledge from the authentic source only. And I believe to learn AWS, AWS documentation is the best authentic source possible, right? So I'm going to use AWS documentation for my videos. Next is why, how, and what of AWS services. What is that service? Why we are using that and how to use that by practically showing you in the AWS console so that you all can understand how to use that service in your own environment, right? I hope this sounds excited to you and uh, you all are charged up to learn more about AWS. I am very happy to start this journey with you all, cloud computing. Thank you so much for watching this video till the end. I hope to see you all in the next video, which is going to be about cloud computing. So see you in the next video.